I'm Robert Scoble, I'm the startup liaison officer for Rackspace, and we're here at TechCrunch Disrupt interviewing a, a wide range of cool entrepreneurs who are doing world-changing technologies. And uh, let's just dive right into what's going on right now. So who are you? Uh, Mike Fogner from Snappy TV. And what, what is Snappy TV? So Snappy TV is a live cloud video editor. And what the hell is that? <laughs> so <laughs> when you say live live cloud, you're taking live streaming video like Ustream or whatnot, and you're able to edit it on the fly while the stream continues to go on. Exactly, exactly. So the problem is the problem we solve is you got a live stream that's happening. It's happening in the cloud, and people are talking about it. And what we allow you to do is to basically go in and you say, okay, that was a cool moment. Like we're doing the disrupt right now and uh, Reed Hoffman's on stage, says something noteworthy, TechCrunch can go in, in, out, tweet, and that's within Twitter, within, it's on Twitter within seconds. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, so like during this interview, if we're live streaming on Ustream, somebody could be editing, and if you say something really cool and interesting, I always do. at minute tw two, they can cut right to it and get it up and tweet it while the interview is still going on, which brings a fresh new audience to this conversation. Exactly. So, so That's really cool. So Jessica Alba is on stage right now. You go in there, and so it's live. It's also on a DVR. So you go in, you can say, okay, here's, here's what I want to get. I'm watching her on stage. I can set an end point. You know, this guy's going to say something. I can't hear it. But then I go over here and edit my out point. And uh, what he said, I go ahead and tweet that out. Boom. And um, instantaneously, it takes about uh, 13 seconds to get to Twitter. Um, yeah, so it'll tweet it. It'll tweet it out, after, show up here go. what he said. I go in here and boom, that's now available for wow. my audience to read. So I'll go over here and show you what TechCrunch TV is doing. You know, Jessica Alva says starting companies really hard, but can get done with the right goal in mind. You go ahead and watch that. Because before, you know, you were just tweeting. You see something on stage, you say, that's cool, and you tweet about it, but no one knows, you know, unless I was watching the live stream, I don't know what you're talking about. We actually let you know, let your audience know what you're talking about. No, that's really cool. And so TechCrunch uh, can just let that stream go all, the whole day. They don't need to start and stop their recorder or start yep. and stop a Ustream. They just let the Ustream go, so anybody can watch the Ustream and just sit there on TV. But they can cut out pieces of it and tweet it. Exactly, and for TechCrunch it's actually really useful because they blog, right? Yeah. And so the bloggers are watching some, what Reid Hoffman says, they're writing an article about it, and they're actually taking this and saying, okay, I need to go get that video clip of him talking about the, y, the YC Google Ventures uh, uh, dispute, yeah. and go grab that, embed it in my blog, and it's instantaneous. So companies like TechCrunch, sports, news organizations, the, the people that need that video now, this, this is the best way to get it online. Well, this is interesting because I, I believe every company is going to have a TV studio like ours yeah. because you, you need to do financial reports, talk to the employees, you know, have the CEO weekly meetings, all that fun stuff. So could we do this with Salesforce Chatter or Yammer in, inside the firewall, inside the corporation? Absolutely, yeah. There's a lot of applicability. I mean, I think, I think the kind of the, wow. the, 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 the idea that I like to get across is Whenever you have longer video, so that's maybe a, a, even a, a teleconference or something, you know, or, or a an webinar, hour right? meeting, an hour meeting, right? Um, the, the the problem is, is that um, what's important when you're watching that after the fact, you either watch it live or you watch it after the fact. When you watch it after the fact, yeah. you just watch highlights, right? So we make it. We're basically when it's cloud based, you just say really easy to in and out. Actually, we have to have a little note taking ability. You can actually create what's called a mark. So if I can go here and watch it live, I can just take a mark and sit, grab a mark and say, uh, note here, yeah. and then that, later I can go in any of these marks, I can go in and grab uh, the in and out point. The other thing we can also do is actually key off of Twitter, so if you're tweeting, which you aren't right now, but if uh, like TechCrunch at T TechCrunch TV is tweeting, yeah. you can go in here and say the Honest Company co-founder Brian Lee discusses that, you go in and we'll go to the video Whoa. right at that point. So and then so so here's where uh, there's just too much innovation. Can I do a search for a hashtag? Um, you can on this, yeah. So and so, so, so basically, the bit, like TechCrunch disrupt is yeah. a hashtag or so TC disrupt. Here's TC disrupt. So you can go around all the people that are talking about that, and you can go to the video at that moment. 
And so, so the other thing we have uh, this. Now, can a user do this at home, or or just a video editor? We that... have user-facing interfaces. This isn't one of them, but we we've, we've kind of prototyped that. We've uh, really been concentrated on that. I, I think it's a really. I think yeah. that's where part of our future is. But yeah. right now, we're just focusing on publishing tools. But no, but I can see where you're going to go with that because, like, the Super Bowl is going to be on, and everybody's going to be tweeting about it, and everybody's going to say, oh. The 49ers just scored a touchdown. I want to click on it and see the touchdown, right? Exactly. And go right exactly. back well, to that. Twitter has a lot of data in there. Like yep. it, it, we 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 coined this. Term, we, we we call it the V tweet. And you can actually take quotes. There's just so much innovation. You V tweet it. We'll actually publish that video with that tweet over the top of it. It's kind of the reverse of what they're doing on TV. On TV, they're taking tweets and putting them on TV. We're taking the, what people are saying about TV and putting it online. Oh, that's cool. Can you do a little graph? Like, like if there's 100,000 tweets in a second, uh, you know, around a, a touchdown play in the Super Bowl or something like that, it'll spike up. Yeah. And so you could just click on that spike and see what, what everybody got got hot and bothered by. You You're know? a smart man. We call it, we, we actually have a product called Social Volume. It allows you to track Twitter keywords and, and, and it will actually auto edit the clip based on those spikes. We'll go take the top five moments and present them as an editor and say, here are the top five moments. That is freaking cool. Cause I, I've always wanted that. You know, I, when I was driving down from Seattle when we were, were moving, Tiger Woods hit like one of the shots of his life and everybody was tweeting about it. It's like, oh my God, Tiger Woods just made the shot of his life. And I couldn't find, couldn't I, couldn't, I couldn't see it, yeah. right? Yeah. And I, with your system now, I can just click on it and go right to, the, to that moment. Yeah, yeah. There, there are content rights issues, issues as they already are, but we, again, we're, we're a system of tools for the content owners. So in this case, TechCrunch owns the content, you own your broadcast. You know, we work with MTV. So how do you get paid? Does AOL, you know, TechCrunch pay you yeah, yeah. to use the system? It's, so, it's a software as a service platform. So how much is it, you know? It's in the, in the thousands per month. It's not that expensive. Okay. I mean, when you consider that we replace, you know, you don't but have to use it, Final Cut I can't Cut go anymore. on my credit card. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't. Hundreds per month, I can go on my credit card. Thousands, I got to ask for Tiffany's credit card. For you, for you Robert, we can make an exception. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is really cool stuff. It's. Um, it, it's going to be, every company is going to have a studio like this. Every company is going to do live streaming. And that live stream is useless because it's so opaque. And this right. takes us into the stream and makes it much more useful. This also helps searchability, right? Totally. Do, yeah, that's interesting. Can you put this in a blog post format? In, you know, a, like, in a blog post format? Yeah, like all the moments. Because Twitter is one thing, but I want to have a blog post, like a live, like, like uh, if I'm covering a, a keynote or something like like Salesforce, you know, Mark Benioff on, is on stage and I'm covering it as a blogger. Yes, I want that to go out to Twitter and say, oh my God, he just said something really cool. Here's a clip. Oh yeah, he said another thing that's really cool. Here's a clip. But then I want that to be a blog post and say, here's a blog post of the 15 minutes, 15 things that Mark Benioff said that was really key. So this is what TechCrunch is doing. They're embedding. Uh, these highlights, and so you can go over and basically, this yeah. is the timeline of well, this that's entire I want it in a text You want it in it, so we, we have that format like a, as well, like and expandos. A, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a time, uh, you know, a minute by minute slice, and oh, that sounds like an interesting quote, I want to see what he said, or or particularly when somebody uh, demos something, because a, a quote can be converted pretty easily to text. Right. I got the, but if he starts bringing out the new iPhone and showing off a new app, I want to see it, and I want to go to that one and go right to where you demoed. Right. Can can you do this with YouTube videos too? Uh, so what we do is we export videos to YouTube. Like it, 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 it's yeah, but see, I, I've uploaded all sorts of videos to YouTube. They're opaque again. They're you know a, They're, a yeah. twenty minute video, and I'd love to use your system to again point into certain places in a YouTube video. Right, right, right. But you need to have them on your system for this to work. Yeah, well, what we do is we cut them up and we create discrete video files and we'll like publish a highlight clip to YouTube and another highlight clip. That's the other way. Yeah, that's the other. We don't do it as like a take a whole YouTube thing and then and then section it because it's kind of their hosted system and it's hard to penetrate that. Yeah. Although they do have a deep link. You can right click and deep link into it. Yeah, the, so. that is true. You can uh, get a time code. I, the, the funny thing is, though, is I, I don't think, it, you know, Deep linking into on-demand video has been around for a while. We're not the first ones. Hulu does it. Everybody does it, right? 
the, the, the key here is, is actually segmenting out live. Because when the, the you know, you, you, that Twitter spike you talked about, like when Tiger Woods does something, when there's a Super Bowl on, when the VMAs, we just worked with MTV for the VMAs, you get this huge Twitter spike. Everybody's talking about us, it, it's live, and that's when you want to get it out there, right? Like yeah. that, that's when you want to clip it up and deep link yeah. is at that live moment. Because when it's on demand, the, the Twitter conversation only lasts for an hour and then it's moved on to the next thing, right? Yeah. And so if you don't get it, if you don't get that tweet out within an hour, you, you, you basically don't take advantage of any of that traffic. Yeah. Facebook's the same way. No, that that's really cool. So I have to have somebody uh, watching our live video stream and doing this. Seems pretty simple to do. I it can, works in a web browser, right? Yeah, yeah. and I also uh, we can't get this on screen, but I'll show you. We actually have uh, uh, little little iPhone apps. So basically, what we do well is mark up a timeline with metadata, so we can actually take you know like I showed you any tweets, but we can give you a little iPhone app, so you can be sitting giving your interviews, and if you like something, you just hit a button, and we give you you can actually go in and select the frame of whatever was just on your thing and tweet it out. Oh, wow. And so, so, because, you know, it's all cloud-based, and once you get in the cloud, the interface can change for different users. So we have a hardcore editing interface, but we also have really simple end-user interfaces that's just like, I like that, I like that, I like that. No, that's really cool. Yeah. Really cool stuff. Um, what stage is your company in? How are you funded? Uh, we're we're like seed A, you know, whatever that is right now. Yep. Uh, freestyle capital. If Ron Conway walked by, he would grab his arm. <laughs> uh, not Ron, but, uh, <laughs> but but people like him. Freestyle Capital's on our board, and they're, they're the lead investor. And so we, we've taken uh, a, ran, uh, a bridge and, 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 uh, and an A from them. Very cool. Uh, from, from a group of a group of people. So. Well, you, I think you're going to do very well, because I think uh, a lot of people are going to need this kind of thing, particularly a streaming on the internet gets more and more popular. I mean, yeah. the Olympics had 12 streams this this summer. In four more years, that's going to be 40 streams going a lot. You know, and everybody, time. I mean, you see these, uh, you know, Teradek, you know, uh, 4G Wi-Fi things. So Fox Sports is one of our big customers. They shoot, you know, over 100 different high school football games, high quality high school, high school football games. They walk around and they have, you know, three cameras at high school football and they use Snappy TV to broadcast those live and then edit highlights instantaneously. They're literally faster than ESPN at getting highlights on the web. Yeah. And this is all for high school kids. Like, it's insane. And we get, we get a ton of traffic, great use cases. So I, I, I agree with you. I mean, the, the, the barrier to entry for live streaming has just gone to, to you know, iPhone, yeah. right? And so that just, I think it's like four or 500% year over year growth in live streams. And so people are gonna need these tools. Very cool. Are you going to have a consumer level thing so I can do live video streaming right from my iPhone to your system and have somebody else editing out clips? That's, I mean, that's, we, we have some consumer interfaces right now, but we license them as part of the platform. Uh, you know, March Madness, you could, you, could, you could watch something and say, I like that and grab it and, and grab the last uh, uh, 15 seconds they, they allotted that. So we, we do have some consumer things. They're mostly platform based. So yeah. if you're a customer of ours, you can build it into your iPhone app. Um, and so that's kind of our model. We're, we're, we're staying away from direct to consumer. We're going, you know, B to B to C. Very cool. Yeah. It's so really cool. And I've been watching the TechCrunch uh, TV feed while it's been going on. It's really cool what you guys do. Thanks, man. Um, where do I learn more about it? SnappyTV.com. Very cool. Or Snappy.tv. Both of them. Snappy.tv? We got them both. Yay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for showing it to me. It's really pretty cool how, th how this is done behind the scenes. Thanks, Robert.